back to my channel. It's Nicole, your favorite Unbothered Queen Trell. A few days ago, I added a poll under my community tab asking you what you'd like to see from my next long form video. And most of you guys voted for fall hosting ideas as well as some fall and holiday treats. So as you can tell by the title, today I'll be showing you a few simple fall treats that your guests and your family will love for your next fall event. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. The first treat that I'll be doing is a pumpkin cream cheese dip. This recipe requires minimal preparation and just a few items that you could pick up at your local grocery store. Blend these items together and serve it in a decorative bowl. This decorative bowl, surprisingly, I picked up from Dollar General on one of my Dollar General runs. This bowl was only $5, so whatever decorative bowl you have, you can serve this dip along with apples, cinnamon crackers, and some pumpkin spice cookies. Now I will make a charcuterie board. Most of these items I purchased are from Aldi's. These little marble bowls are from West Elm and I call it a fall charcuterie board because some of the items that I have are either pumpkin spice or fall themed in some sort of way and I'll be using some borsin. I love borsin. I think it's a delicious delicious cheese spread for all your, you know your crackers and vegetables and I will place it onto the board here. So how I set up my board, I figure out where the cheeses will go first, then I'll add my meats, and then I will add my, you know, my foliage, whether it's rosemary, eucalyptus, etc. So I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this many times, even here on my channel. Now to create a more decorative charcuterie board, I like to add salami roses, and they are very simple to create. You just add salami around the rim of your glass until you can't add any more.
And here is a cheese pairing spread that I picked up from Aldi. It comes with four different types of jams or spreads. And as you can see at the end, I decided to swap out my marble bowls to just add the spread in the jar on the charcuterie board. I think it just looks better. It kind of matches the theme of the board. And these spreads are actually very delicious. This kit was only priced at $7.99, so be sure to check out Aldi's for all your charcuterie needs. Now I will make some Halloween snack cups. I picked up this charcuterie cup kit on Amazon and I will try to find it and link it down below. And the kit comes with the charcuterie cups as well as the decorative picks. So I will start by decorating my cups with some Halloween stickers that I picked up from Target in their Halloween section. And then I'll begin adding some snacks to my cups. So here is where I'll add a more festive Halloween snack. I will take this baby bell cheese and add some pretzels, about eight pretzel sticks, four on each side, just to kind of create a spider looking Halloween treat. So here I will add some edible eyes using the Wilton sugar glue. However, I was having a bit of difficulty with the eyes sticking so you can use a little bit of peanut butter behind the eyes just so that they don't slip and fall down. some fall treats with me today please be sure to like and comment drop a comment let me know what treats you'll be willing to try at this fall season and while you're at it don't forget to follow me on all of my social media platforms instagram tiktok and now lemon 8 and be sure to click that bell for notifications until next time guys